Alright, here goes my 500th time filming this voiceover. Hi everyone, today we are swatching some diamine or some diamine inks. I have my glass dip pen, some q-tips, and just a jar of water for the ease of switching between colors. Um, I bought a six pack of these inks off of Amazon for around 30 bucks, which is pretty cheap considering I live in the US. Um, and yeah, so let's just get started. So the first one that I'm swatching is Oxblood. Now, I heard a lot about this ink. Um, I'm not a huge fan of red inks, but when I swatched it, it turned out to be this beautiful, like, berry color. Um, this is Tamoy River paper, so I'm doing a swatch of Stology paper and Tamoy River paper, which I'll bring in my Stology notebook in a few seconds. But yeah it's this beautiful berry color now it does look different when you are like um writing with it it is darker when you're writing with it especially since i'm a extra fine nib user so yeah look at that beautiful just berry color um as you can see it is lighter on the stology paper and darker on the tamoy river paper um the color is pretty flat so you know there's not really much shading or like shimmer or sheening um but don't take my word for it i don't really know much about the whole fountain pen and ink stuff i am pretty new at this so according to my research um shading is like the chemicals in the ink sheening is uh the way that the wait no shading is yeah wait no oh my god this is so confusing all right whatever anyways this is not an official review or anything i don't really know what i'm talking about i'm just mainly looking at the colors um so to me this color is pretty much as flat there's no shimmer there's no sheen it's just a plain old red um this wasn't my favorite color just because once again i'm not a huge fan of red inks um but it came in the set and people love this ink so i just thought hey why not um sorry i'm a little out of breath here from talking so much and so fast but yeah this is it's really smooth it writes very smooth um and this is yeah this is demian oxblood um uh, once again if you are coming here for a fully like actual review of the inks i'm not the person i'm very much a beginner this is my maybe second time buying inks and i have about like two fountain pens so i really don't know much about it um and I, before this video i did some very light research on the difference between shimmer shading and um sheening which i didn't even really know existed until watching a few videos but this is the way that oxblood looks and i'm just cleaning my glass dip pen here um and pretty much yeah i'm just wiping it off preparing it for the next color i tried to cut this video a little bit shorter because it was a long video so i cut out some of me you know rotating the caps and everything so this next color is pumpkin now pumpkin is this very beautiful color um i heard it was a lot of people's favorites as well so once again i'm not an orange like color user but it was very pretty, pretty color uh, this beautiful like orangey yellow um all right i'm back on the voiceover um, I had to pause real quick to let my dog in and then, you know, now he's sleeping beside me. So if you hear any noise, just please ignore or excuse that. But yeah, so this is a really pretty color. Um, once again, super flat, just a basic colored ink. There's nothing really special to it. Um, I am someone who really likes like shimmer and sheening um, more than I do like shading uh which by my research um i'm going to try to explain the definitions again correct me if i'm wrong on any of this but sheening is the chemical makeup in an ink where the light reflects off of it and it like kind of shifts color 
and then shimmer is like glitter particles in the actual ink and then shading is just the way that the ink like flows on the paper so to my knowledge that's my definition um once again not really sure i'm just taking a educated guess here but um this is a really pretty color and that's pretty much all i can say um with my extent of knowledge uh i wanted this video to be like pretty short but like also you could see in real time how the ink dries so i did try to cut out a lot of unnecessary things like screwing on the cap and everything but this video still ended up like turning out pretty long and there's nothing really else much to talk about except for um how the ink lays on paper which doesn't really take long so most of this video will just be me blabbing on about like random things so i am so sorry about that but that's just the way that this video is going to go because there's really like not much i can talk about for 17 minutes revolving around the inks especially to my knowledge um so yeah as you can see on this paper pretty much the colors on both the sheets of paper are the same um next is hope pink now hope pink it's once it's a really bright hot pink um and i just shake the ink around i don't know if you're supposed to do that or not or maybe that's the reason why the inks look so flat but i shook the ink around i guess to see if like any shimmer or anything not mixed in then it'll be mixed in but yeah this is hope pink um this beautiful hot pink once again lays very flat um yeah pretty much that's all i can say about it now i'm not a huge fan of hot pinks i've said this about like literally every single color so far but when it comes to writing um i'm not a huge fan of hot pink i'm more of into dusty pink type of inks if that makes sense um so this just you know came with the pack so that's what i got now i had originally bought this pack for one of the later colors um but it ended up not being one of my favorites so stay tuned and watch this video to see what was the massive disappointment of an ink um so when i do my swatches on the stology paper i do more like work on it just because stology um booklet is my ink testing paper like my ink test collection book i guess so that's why i do a lot more of like lines and dots and you know writing everything um the tomoe river paper is just a sheet out of the hobonichi paper um the hobonichi memo pad paper it's just like a sheet out of there so there's not enough room to you know do the whole big full test and that's why i said that this video is not a good review it's more of just something to watch for the colors and the entertainment or just me rambling and talking about the colors um so yeah that's a hope pink um the bleed through or the well the bleed through is none but there is a lot of ghosting um as you can expect with very thin stology paper um so next i have here is delamere green now i really like dark greens sorry about that if you could hear my stomach it's literally gurgling even though i just ate but delamere green i really like dark greens sorry about the little fling of ink droplets that bothered me too so i'm sorry for that bother you but delamere green is a very pretty like dark teal color um i really really enjoy it it's really pretty i love dark greens um and i have yet to find a good dark green actually so this one came in very handy now i have the di diamine diamine sorry i don't know how to say the name so i'm just gonna you know switch up the the, the name from here and there but 
uh, I own the Diamine Green Black, which is really dark, and it's almost like writing with black, which kind of, to me, defeats the whole purpose of writing with fountain pen, because to me, it's like, you can get a nice black pen anywhere, so you might as well experiment with some fun colors um, with fountain pen inks. But that's just me. I'm not a huge fan of black fountain pen inks just because I don't really see any point. And that same goes with red and like dark blue. I don't see no point in buying those colors when there's so many good just regular rollerball or gel pens that have that color. But once again, my opinion. Now this Delamere green color, it is a dark green once again, but you can definitely tell it's green without having to strain out your eyeballs like it is with the green black um so i'd say that this definitely solves my green dark green color problem when it comes to inks um and that's all for delamere green um next up here we have steel blue now i this color i'm you know i was kind of iffy about getting it but it is my favorite out of everything which really surprised me too because i expected the last ink to be my favorite but it, this really just it blew me away i loved it so much and i'll explain why in a bit so this color is just you know it's a beautiful there is a q-tip stuck um but this steel blue color is such a beautiful there goes my stomach again so, so i'm so sorry this video is such a mess and to think that this is the 50th time that i've refilmed this voiceover um the first time or the first like 17 times people were talking too much in the background and then the next time i filmed i just couldn't get it right and then the final time before this i filmed i was literally it was fine and then the audio was all messed up for some reason like you couldn't hear me at all so now i'm filming this for the 500th time anyways back to steel blue this is such a beautiful like medium blue color and the way that it shades on paper oh my god it looks so nice now i don't know if it's just like the glass dip pen i'm writing with but the way that this shades is that all the ink flow moves to the edges, so it just looks like every single letter has this outline of like a darker blue in it, and it is so beautiful. So, um, it's very, very pretty. Oh, I forgot to mention that Delamere Gray has, or Delamere Green has sort of this red, like, um, red sheening to it. And so does Steel Blue, which makes it a thousand times prettier. Oh my god. I love this color so much. This has got to be one of my favorite inks. Um, and it's already inked up in my fountain pen. I love it. It's so pretty. So that is all for Delamere Green. Or, sorry. This is all for Steel Blue. Um, so, yeah. And then next we have... Next we have... Oh my god, I'm struggling here. And next we have Imperial Purple. Now, this color was my most like sought-after color. Like, I really wanted this color. But it was such a disappointment. Oh my god. This color was not what I was expecting. I was expecting this beautiful purple with like gold shimmer. Not gold shimmer, gold sheening in it. And that it would be like heavier sheening, but no, this was such a disappointment of a color. It was mainly just like a dark purple color with barely any sheening. Um, the color was also really flat. It just, it really did not live up to par of what I had saw online. So I was really disappointed about this ink because I thought that this was going to be like my new favorite ink. But sadly, it wasn't, um, Steel Blue was my favorite, so, yeah, I'm just now doing my little, you know, swatch, um, I like writing the name and then doing a writing sample in print and then in cursive and then to write what I wrote, 
with write down the name of what I wrote with um, as well and then I like to add the date of when I get an ink just because it is you know it helps you keep track of when's the last time you've used certain inks or how long you've had them so that's just how I do my swatches in my swatch book um, so yeah that's pretty much all I have to say for imperial purple it's you know not my favorite um thought it was going to be you know it's very flat color it with very very little sheening so if you are going to buy it for the golden sheen don't even you know bother oh my god my stomach and my burping it just this entire video it has been going crazy oh my god I'm so sorry this is such a disgusting thing to talk about or um so here is my little flip through of the swatches um this is astology paper so here it is here's oxblood and then we have pumpkin which is very pretty very cute um and then we have some hope pink once again very pretty it's a really hot pink, um, leans a little bit towards purple. And then of course we have Diamine Demir Delamere Green, very pretty, like a dark teal color. And then we have Steel Blue, my favorite color out of everything. Very pretty medium blue shade with very pretty shading. And then we have Imperial Purple, sadly the disappointment of the pack. Um, so yeah, next I'm going to be showing you a close-up of the Tomoe River paper. Um, it starts off a little blurry, but don't worry, it comes back into focus once I fix my camera a little bit. So yeah, look how pretty Delamere Green looks on Tomoe River paper. And you can finally see the steel blue like shading. So very pretty, very nice. All the inks are very nice and nice quality. So if you like this video, please like it, and if you like me, then please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye